this is fights uh, that you live for, you know, these are those moments. I'm gonna test him, you know, I'm gonna test his character. I'm gonna... He's in do or die situation. There's no lie about what he said. Let's do no lie this time. Oh, and you hear the thud going for the high kick. It's cut off by Overeem and he puts him back to the mat. Overeem quickly reacting to the roundhouse of Crow Cop and they're back on the mat. And I mean, this is a sledgehammer coming down right now. Yeah, man. That's the hammer. Crow Cop was first on my list. If there's anybody else, come forward and I'll fight you too. I am the number one of Dream, and I will show you next time again. Thank you very much. Who fought today? Alistair, listen, all this hugging and shit is not it. K1, stand up fight. We'll knock out. feeling is that he has no respect for MMA fighters and uh, kick his ass K1 rules and then I'm going to kick his ass again and then I'm なぐり合いが始まります。逆襲に出られるか一ラウンドから行きなり皆さん、フィナタ。ステージを込めた精細。ここで選手にも捕まっていました。メインキャスター、佐藤龍、ました、バダハリが井上若さん。こんな素晴らしさ。アリスター選手が本気で教えたんでしょうね。なるほど。キ
There's the right hand from Butter. I see Butter box a little bit more. Use that jab a little bit. There you go. And again, Overeem has got an underhooks here. And the referee moved in. Now he's going to keep his chin down as he comes forward. Overeem is just an absolute monster. I mean, did you see the ease with That's which he, he dropped him to the ground? Butter hasn't slung the legs yet, which surprises me. Overeem, gut munching knee. And Butter returns the favor. The tension in here, you could cut it with an electric toothbrush. It is electrifying. Body shot. Body rip again from Hurry off the right hand. Impatient. And Alistair setting himself. Checks the low kick, Alistair. Body shot from Butter. The one he used to knock out Zabit Semenov in one round in the final 16. Glad to see Butter actually go for an uppercut. Throw that jab down center fast. Come back with the uppercut. Go in his corner, man. Right hand from Uberim, and he throws him into the turnbuckle, wrestling style. The referee needs to step in and, and stop this because the referee is scared to step in there. Oh, he's tagged him! He's tagged him! He's tagged him! That's what I'm talking about. Four, five, this place has gone bananas! But that's going to be patient. But that's going to be patient. Now work up that jab. He's got to be patient. He's got to be patient. But it needs to be patient. Go back to jab. Basic stuff. Keep it basic. This is incredible. 55 seconds to go. But it goes to the body. Uppercut, uppercut. There's the right hand. I did not expect to be coming back in the kickboxing ring. Life is full of surprises, right? I feel like I'm coming home. I never thought that, that I'll, be, I'll be fighting him again, but uh, you see Destiny got a strange way of uh, connecting us again. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to meet him again. Bada wanted to fight me. I mean, we're not friends or anything, but there's a respect, right? Listen, listen, you know, the, you, you shouldn't uh, mix things up, you know, because uh, at the end uh, we are uh, killers, you know. Listen, there'll be, there'll be some tension, there'll be some adrenaline boiling, right? Because you know you're gonna, you, you know there's gonna be some yeah, collision, collision four, but uh, yeah, I did my homework. I know what I'm bringing okay. to the table. There is no fighter that likes to be pressured. No one, no one. I will touch him once. <laughs> Just need one. Let me, you know, let me give hell. If it's necessary, let's go through hell. Let's give them some electricity there, you know. Yeah, man. Just be ready, Alistair. Be ready. You know, I'm ready, so be ready. He's, uh, he's a warrior. He's a, he's a legend. But we're going to see the end of Bada Hari. That's what we're going to see next week. Sorry about it, but that's how it's going to be. It's going to be your the final show, Bada. And uh, it's going to be me putting that last nail in the coffin for you. For me, I'll be there in my best shape. I hope he, he, he comes in his best shape too. And uh, yeah, let's give the fans what they want. Your main event of the evening, brought to you by Jack's Casino in Sports. Badahari versus Alistair Overeem. Fighting out of the black corner. He is a two-time world heavyweight champion and the 2010 K1 Grand Prix champion. As a kickboxer, his record, 10 wins with four losses, seven of those wins coming by way of knockout. At six feet, four inches tall, 1.93 meters, he weighed in at 248.7 pounds, 112.8 kilograms. Fighting out of the Netherlands, ladies and gentlemen, here is Alistair, the demolition man. Here now is his opponent, fighting out of the white corner, a two-time world heavyweight champion and two-time 
K1 Grand Prix finalist. His professional record, 106 wins with just 16 losses, 92 career knockouts. At six feet, six inches tall, 1.98 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 252.2 pounds, 114.4 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Morocco, he is the baddest. Introducing Bada Harry! Obey the commands at all time and protect yourself at all time, okay? Touch gloves, if you want. Take a step back. Bada Harry versus hey. Alistair Overeem. Here we go! I predict this first round being very wild. As Overeem starts opening up. But we gotta watch out for. Overeem trying to switch stances, big clubbing shots. But he seems open for counter punches, Joe. Overeem, very confident fight week. Got off balance a little bit. Botter punishes him. Maybe a nice uppercut for Botter could be an option. Yeah, he tried it there. You wonder how Overeem will react to the first big, heavy punch that Botter lands. Yeah. Oh, big low kick. Bottom put all of himself into that one. Make him uncomfortable, force him to use some energy, but Bonner's trying to catch him, he's getting close. But calm and composed is over. Round two, remember, scheduled for three. All five judges scoring that for Bonner. Overeem trying to find his way in with that head down, Joe, so dangerous. Yeah, he's dipping his head down to, to give the overhand. But there's that body ripping from Botter. Oh, low kick. Right below the belt. He'll get a couple minutes if he needs it. There's a low kick from Alistair. Boy, it almost knocked Botter down. Those big legs hitting you. Ooh. Oh, another big low kick from Potter. Yeah, that hurt over him. Over him just can't seem to figure Potter out. But you can see, oh, big punches in the inside. We've seen Bader in the past winning fights, Joe, even dominating fights, and then one shot out of nowhere ends the fight. Yeah, but this is what I say. After he's hitting now, you see him resetting and getting his defense back up. He'll hit, come back to good guard composure. He's not swinging and keeping his hands out. Hit right back to upstairs, high guard. Right hand from Overeem just misses. Bader dominating this fight statistically. Break, step back, step back. Mr. Overeem, who's basically brand new to kickboxing again. But he knows he has the power if he can land that one big heavy punch. That, he uppercut, does. that uppercut sent Botter's glove to the ground. The referee does not call it a knockdown. Biggest punch of the fight. Stop. Joe, that may very well have been a knockdown. Yeah, could have stole the round too because of that one big shot. But on that inside, boom, boom, nice slide up uppercut. Nice close range. Hard to see the, well, you can see left hook. And then just, boom, pops up right on the chin. Watch the gloves. Down, one glove touched. Yeah, it could be. It. So here we go. The official final round. The official final round of the final round. Coming back. Oh, big hit. That runs right into the bottom's face. Yeah, it's a little bit more unorthodox style of jabbing for cuts. Easier said than done. Oh, right hand from Alistair. Two of them. And then a knee. Big right again from the ring. Butter's out! Butter is out! Butter is down! One. 
The count two. should be at eight. five. Why is he at two? Three. Why is the referee at three? Four. He should be at eight. Five. How you doing? Six. Seven. Eight. I don't know. I don't know. Here we go. Five. Can Alistair Overeem finish? Can he put the final nail in Butters' coffin like he promised to do? He's got him on the ropes. A minute to go here in the Netherlands. It's legend. Oh, that right hand. Legend versus legend, and he's down again. Five, six, seven, ah, arm, arm. He's up. Five. He's got 40 seconds to survive. Let's see what the demolition man can do. Butter wincing in pain. He's fighting back. Big right hand for Butter. Get Butter. He's still swinging. He's going to go out on his shield if he has to. Incredible endurance here for both of these fighters. Botter back on his feet after two knockdowns. Ten seconds to go. Does this put it to an extra round is what I'm thinking now with two knockdowns. Alistair steps out of the fray. And that will do it. Let's go to the judges' scorecards. I don't know those two knockdowns may not be enough to win it. We could have an extra round. With the two knockdowns, Botter being up two rounds. Let's see what happens here. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of kickboxing, we go to the judges' scorecard. Here are the totals from our five ringside judges. One judge scores about 29, 26. The four remaining judges all have it. 28, 27, all for your winner by unanimous decision. Master, oh!